Esther Flores with One Divine Line to Health describes victims of human trafficking as living in the Shadowlands. She founded the only non-banker hours health-based organization in Columbus that heads to the hot zones. So I headed there with them. So are some of these guys that you run into trafficking these women out here? Absolutely. I mean, we pull up a lot of times. and So this group of guys that are standing over here, and they're going to either bully her out of her drugs, or they're going to beat her up, or both and sexually assault her, whatever they've got to do. We reached a dozen victims, some locals, others from across Ohio and the nation. One who I'll call Adele agreed to tell me her story. I've been on the street since I was 14, but um, they, used, they used to put me out there on the block and teach me how to do this and do that and tell me to bring my money back to them. So that's how I, I started off. I had a film. Adele came from a local Air Force family. After her parents' rough divorce, she found herself in abusive relationships, one driving her into the arms of a trafficker and drug addiction. But it ain't like we all say, hey, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a dope fiend or something like that when I grow up, you know what I'm saying? It ain't it wasn't our choice. With many failed attempts to recover in traditional institutions, Adele, now in her 40s, tells me she can't escape the life, but says the presence of one divine line to health makes her want to try harder. I also met a former pimp, who I'll call Theo. Be the kid that just grew up on the block watching it? Well, I'll get big, I'll become that pimp, I'm gonna make that money. Because uh, I've seen him making that money. Theo says he trafficked 12 women, making up to five grand a week, selling them on the streets and online. If a woman tried to leave, what tactics would you use to keep her? I'd make her owe me a lot of money, for one. Because all the dope, they got strung out on the dope and all they keep wanting more. Grabbed her by the throat, banged her head against the wall. You know, stuff like that. Would you call these women out here slaves? Well, yeah, it's still slavery is what it is. You know, because they're out here, they're, you know, they're out here selling their bodies. And, you know, what were the slaves sold into? For money. Theo says he's never been charged for any crime. I got away with a lot of stuff. There's girls out there 16, 17 years old. And I, I know a few that's been out there have been younger. While the crisis is complicated, Adele says something as simple as victims being seen as humans will lay the foundation for change. Reporting for Dayton 24, 7 Now News, I'm Allison Walker.